Now let's go to my optional ones. Okay, starting out with this disc here is my Champion Rhino. This one I got a few months ago, and it's to replace the DX Plastic Rhino that I've been using for like well over a year. One of the first discs I bought was the uh, DX Rhino, the purple one you've probably seen in many of my early videos. absolutely love that disc, but I have abused the heck out of it for nearly two years. And it basically became a little bit of a straight flyer and just not the overstable approach disc that I wanted that to be, but it's DX Plastic. Two years of solid use. No real complaints. I learned how to use it as it was, but I needed something newer and I wanted to try something in Champion Plastic because I've seen uh, uh, Innova player Calvin Heimberg throw really far and this should be a little more overstable than a regular Rhino that you might get in DX or even Star or Pro Plastic uh, or XT Plastic and hold its condition better and it's grippy enough even though I'm not a fan of the grip you get with Champion Plastic there are some discs like the MD and this Rhino that the Champion is not as slick somehow and some of the other champion that may just because of the newer runs of champion they slightly adjust just in the past i'm not really sure love the rhino can't say enough about it but in my case the a3 the avr3 has displaced it because it's an xt plastic it's more grippy it's got a slightly longer wing profile so i can throw it a little farther and it, it feels really good in the hand and it's still just a touch more overstable than this so but if I didn't have this I would gladly use this in a pinch but once I grabbed this off the shelf at the nearest pro shop I had to have it grabbed it no regrets still love this disc though next up my dart this is the original dart that I bought again one of the first discs that I bought two plus years ago and I use it reliably as an upshot and approach disc uh, more than a putter and unfortunately my throwing style has introduced more turn because of the catapulting that I'm using and I've not been throwing it well so that's more on my end but I can't say enough about the dart um, DX plastic um, this one's a little bit more well used because of its many couple years of usage but I I still think highly of this disc even though I don't currently bag it and if I had a limited more limited setup it would still be in my bag but I've had time to explore other discs now I'm going up to mid-ranges. This is a new one. This I bought in clearance, two bucks, 50 cents at Walmart. Absolutely love this disc. This is like a Dart Plus. Uh, and it's classified as a mid-range, but really the rim is just only a little bit longer than the Dart, and it's a little bit flatter. But this is actually a great approach disc. I would consider this a putter plus, and I can't say highly enough about this. In fact, when I carry my 18 disc bag or so, this makes it in there. In fact, some of these make it in there. In fact, most of these will make it into that larger bag, which I, I'm not using right now, because most of the time I want a relatively light loadout, up to five pounds. My Shark 3. This particular disc has fallen out of favor because of one, the Champion Plastic, and two, the purple is really hard to see. For me, I'm not colorblind to any extent, but a lot of times when I throw this disc, it's, and it ends up on the ground or out in the, in the bush, in the brush, on the grass. I just have a hard time seeing it. For some reason, I have a hard time spotting it. Um, even though I don't have any sort of color sensitive issues and outside of three feet, my, my eyesight is still 20-20, but, uh, or better than 20-20 beyond maybe five or six feet. But I absolutely love this disc. Just a little more stable than the Mako 3 and absolutely great for upshots with a little bit more stability. And I've actually made a lot of really good shots you've seen in the last several months on camera with this one if i had this in star plastic that was like yellow or orange i would this would still be in my bag but as such it's not and it's a great option that i may still carry one of the mid-ranges that replaced it for a while was my atlas same weight very similar flight numbers very similar profile um, this is a little bit more curvy but this is a lot more grippy. This is a star mix plastic. And this I just have more fun throwing and it's much more visible than the shark. But as such, my Mako and my Manta 
really fulfill a lot of the role here and then this and this kind of fits in between this and the Mako 3 but in my 10 disc loadout I just don't have room for this um, and so this only makes it in a loadout that's like 18 discs or so. Okay, now to my drivers. This is my Cheetah. This is in uh, Star Plastic. I actually love this disc. It's very close to Leopard in terms of how it throws. Um, but it's a little more variable. Sometimes it seems to turn more. Sometimes it seems more stable. But that may just be the way I am trying to throw it. Um, Maybe if I were to think of it exactly like Leopard and throw it exactly like a Leopard, I'd have a different opinion of it. But if I lost my Leopard, I would immediately put this in the bag instead of the Leopard because it's so close to it. Uh, the only disc that's closer is the next one I'm about, about to mention. But this otherwise is largely straight. I have seen it do the S-curve more in terms of turning and fading than the leopard. The leopard will more likely turn and just keep going and not really fade, just to be honest. So the negative one almost doesn't happen uh, when I throw it at 200 plus feet. But this does actually have a little bit of a sharper fade, regardless of whether or not I turn it or not. This one does actually have a sharper fade due to its profile. But a disc that I would use probably before the Cheetah is my Centurion. This one's from Infinite Discs. It actually has a very, very similar profile to my Leopard, and I would almost say this is Infinite Disc's version of a Leopard, but the parting line is a touch bit, I want to say higher or lower, I think it's lower on this, I can't remember. I did a test where you flip it upside down and then you, you put it on a flat surface, and I think this is lower, whatever. This is a slight bit more stable than this, but has, as near as I can tell, the same flight profile. So this would be like a, a Leopard Plus, very similar to a Leopard 3. I would say this is probably closer to a Leopard 3 than a Leopard, but uh, they're all identical. No reason I don't have the Leopard 3 out here is I haven't had the time to, to get that, and it's a Glow Leopard. It's in Glow Champion, which is a slight bit more slick than these plastics. But anyways, this is your S Blend Centurion. I actually love this disc, and again, if I lost my Leopard, this would probably be in the bag, if not my Cheetah, or maybe I'd cram them both in there. Can't say enough about the Centurion. Solid disc, very grippy plastic, and I think Infinite Discs has a winner in that disc. Next up is the Gazelle. This is in DX plastic. For those of you who might remember some of my older videos where I was throwing a wood chopper, I accidentally threw that into a bayou um, on a game that I didn't uh, video record. And uh, I grip locked it and it threw right into a bayou and I lost that disc unfortunately. And that was actually one of my first expensive discs that I've lost. Most discs that I've lost, uh, six or seven have been foundlings. And then uh, I think six or seven since then. Um, I think I've lost six discs that I've paid for, eight discs that, I, that were foundlings. But that was I think one of the very first discs that I ever paid for that I lost. Loved that gazelle. But it was in champion plastic and just for me, I, I tended to early release it a little bit more often. Not so with this DX plastic, and it's slightly more understable, even brand new. It's slightly less stable than the Champion Gazelle that I had. I actually love this disc. The only problem is it's in DX plastic, and I, I wish it was in Pro Plastic. I wish Innova cared more about this disc. You know, I'm not trying to bag on Innova per se, but this is, in my opinion, better for a beginner than something like a T-Bird or even an FD. I think if you're going to be a beginner and you're going to throw a driver and you're going to throw Innova, you need to have a, a Leopard, I think you need to have a Cheetah, and I think you need to have this, this disc. And then this one more disc, which I don't have a replacement for, is my DX Whippet. Another disc that I bought off the store shelf, DX Plastic, it may have been like 10 bucks at the pro shop that I bought it from, 8 to 10 bucks, somewhere in that range. And I fell in love with that disc. The Whippet is, I would say, a slight bit more overstable than a, than a T-Bird, despite having a smaller wing. Um, but that was a perfect complement to Gazelle. If you have a, a Leopard, Cheetah, Gazelle, and Whippet, those four discs will give you the ultimate variability you need as a beginner level 
recreational disc golfer that wants to get your feet wet with drivers and you love the Innova brand. And uh, the Whippet is also hard to find. When I get another DX Whippet, I'm going to grab it. But I unfortunately threw my DX Whippet into a, a lake. That was uh, fortunately not one of my more expensive discs. Most of the discs that I've thrown into a, that I've lost, six or whatever, have been DX plastic, but a couple have been expensive ones. But love the Gazelle. Can't say enough about it. Or reason it's not in my bag is because I'm using Starline premium plastic here. When I play with my disposable lineup, my disposable loadout, this is actually in there as one of my discs. Two left, my Banshee. This will sometimes make it into this bag if I'm not going to be in a pond. I'll take this Hydra out and I'll make room for this Banshee. And the reason why is this, old, this is a very old stable driver in my hand. And this is one tick more stable than the uh, T-Bird in my hands. And it's great for a turning disc. If I want to go around something in a hyzer, either way, this will nail it for me. No exceptions, and it will drop around just great. This is like a whip it on steroids. Can't say enough about this Champion Banshee. And yes, it's a champion, but as I've said, some of these are a little more grippy than others. This, I'd say, is about as grippy as a Rock 3. That I've, that I've been throwing, which is, I would say, middle of the road for grippy with champion plastic. And uh, this is utter beefcake, and I absolutely love it. And that's basically going to do it for most of the traditional drivers. Last but not least is this dragon. I almost always bagged a dragon early in the day that I started playing before I started this disc golf channel because it was a great even more understable driver compared to my leopard that I was bagging. But it was also great at letting me go over the water whenever I needed it, and that was before I, I found the Hydra. I can throw the Hydra and the Dragon about the same distance. If I try to throw both of them very hard, they will turn. So I've just al almost found no need to throw this except with this. The only reason I carry a Dragon, you know, in protect, particularly a larger uh, disc uh, selection, my large bag will use 18 discs and if I want to use sidearm. I can throw this farther sidearm than I can this plus the the rim width allows for further skips. So if I want to get maximum distance with my sidearm I have to use this compared to this. Whereas with my backhand I can throw about the same and uh, that's that's just fine and I think that's due to the uniqueness of the plastic. One unique thing about this dragon is this is 10 grams heavier than your typical dragon. Your typical dragon is 158 grams. This is 168 grams. And that's rare, but it still floats. And But what this means is it's a little bit more stable than the two previous dragons that I've had. Actually, I've had three previous dragons. One I threw into a pond and then someone stole before I could get get uh, get back. Another one I gave to Sean, which he still has. And then another one I threw in a river and that basically went bye-bye. But this one I'm holding on to and I throw this only when absolutely needed and almost usually with my sidearm and I almost only bag it when it's in my larger uh, bag. So that's roughly 20 discs that I bag with me. Uh, two of those won't make it whenever I put them all into my larger bag layout whenever I'm using the adventure bag. All right, let's talk about this bag. I absolutely love this bag. This is the... Uh, not the starter bag, this is a standard bag by Innova. This is a premium quality bag, it's 26 ounces all on its own. So it's basically almost two pounds, right around the two pound mark. And uh, it's fairly premium materials. <coughs> the uh, construction is decent. There's a slight bit of fraying here, very slight here. But, you know, I, I've used this bag quite a lot in the over a year that I've had it. And in lieu of an actual bag review, this is what I use. I tend to put my wallet and my mask in here. My uh, Sharpie is here, which really I don't use on the course per se, because it's not like I find a disc and put my name on it or whatever. But just, it. I guess it's nice to have and weighs next to nothing. And then also I have this uh, towel that I have in here. And usually I will toss my keys in here underneath this towel here because this often is against my leg and I don't like the keys rubbing against my leg. I have a carbon uh, carabiner that I sometimes stick on this uh, 
D loop or whatever this thing is called. Uh, but sometimes my key will actually touch the ground, so I basically took the carabiner off and the keys no longer go there. So I put them basically here for the most part with uh, my towel. Up here is, I don't really carry my mini marker with me per se, so I always drop my phone in there. So this means I don't have to put anything in my shorts. So even though I have pockets in my shorts, I don't need to put anything in here. And I keep a relatively light loadout as I wear typically shorts, shirt, and the usual stuff. But that's basically going to do it. And here's the cup, cup holder thing here where I usually put a 32 ounce cup. So that's basically going to do it. This is what I uh, use when I go out to uh, throw a game. Uh, for those of you who have watched over the last uh, eight months or so that I've been running this channel, you, uh, you've seen various discs come in and out of my bag. But I've always relied on essentially an AVR to putt, a leopard as my max distance driver per se, and I've always relied on putters of various kinds for upshots like the pig, sometimes a hydra, invariably, you know, the rhino or dart, and sometimes this pig, of course. And then once I transitioned from my gazelle, because due to uh, it being really hard to get a replacement gazelle and whip it, I decided to go with a T-Bird and now an FD for the discs that I throw. That's kind of how I've been doing things and I'm still gonna play around with loadouts over time, but this is currently what I'm using and generally what I like to do. Three or four putters, three or so mid-ranges, three or four drivers, uh, unless I'm using my eight disc, 18 uh, disc loadout in my adventure bag. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.